Nestled beneath the mighty Hudson River, the tunnels that connect New York City and New Jersey have served as vital arteries of transportation for over a century. Their history is a testament to engineering prowess, economic necessity, and the enduring role of labor unions in shaping our region's infrastructure. The story begins in the late 19th century, amidst a rapidly growing New York City. As the population booms and commerce flourishes, the need for efficient transportation links between Manhattan and New Jersey and the rest of the country becomes increasingly urgent. In 1908, construction commenced on what would become the first pair of Hudson River tunnels, engineered by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Spanning from Weehawken, New Jersey to Manhattan's Pennsylvania Station, these tunnels are engineering marvels, employing cutting-edge tunneling techniques and reinforcing the riverbed against the relentless pressure of the Hudson River. Completed in 1910, the tunnels quickly became a lifeline for commuters and freight alike, enabling the efficient movement of goods and people between New Jersey and New York City. They symbolize progress and prosperity and fuel the economic growth of the entire region. Over the decades, these tunnels witness wars, economic downturns, and periods of immense regional growth. They bear witness to the rise and fall of industries, yet they remain steadfast in their role as essential infrastructure for the Northeast Corridor. However, the passage of time is not kind to infrastructure. Increased traffic, harsh weather conditions, and the relentless march of corrosion take their toll. Members of the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure toured the century-old North River Rail Tunnel under the Hudson Thursday night. It's part of the larger gateway project, which would replace the deteriorating tunnel linking Amtrak's northeast corridor between New York and New Jersey. In 2012, Superstorm Sandy devastates the region and floods the tunnels with corrosion corrosive salt water. The salt water eats away at all of the electrical and signaling systems in the tunnel and accelerates the deterioration of the tunnel walls. The need for a modern resilient transportation link becomes more urgent than ever. Additionally, trains traveling to New York City must cross over the Portal Bridge, another relic from the past. Based on bridge designs from the 1840s, the Portal Bridge also opened in 1910. Today, the old bridge must be open regularly to let barge traffic navigate the Hackensack River, but the bridge is so old that it regularly gets stuck opening or closing, causing more delays. Well, the Gateway Tunnel is, is the tunnels from New York to New Jersey. Uh, it carries 200,000 passengers a day, uh, 450 trains between Newark and Penn Station. It's 13% of Manhattan's uh, workforce lives in northern New Jersey along the rail lines. Uh, the, the amount of uh, the GDP is about 20% of the U.S. GDP that travels along there, and the tunnels are 110 years old. We don't have the capacity anymore. Uh, we don't have the capacity, and the, and the capacity we do have is, is aging and in need of repair. Enter the Gateway Project, a visionary initiative aimed at securing the future of Trans-Hudson transportation. Conceived as a comprehensive overhaul and expansion of the existing infrastructure, the Gateway Project seeks to build new tunnels, rehabilitate the existing ones, replace the old portal bridge, and ensure a more reliable and resilient connection between New Jersey and New York City. When completed, the Gateway Project will support more one-seat rides between New Jersey and New York. Central to the Gateway Project is the construction of two new rail tunnels under the Hudson River. These tunnels, designed to modern standards, will not only increase capacity, but also provide much needed redundancy in the event of emergencies or maintenance. Building tunnels under a major river like the Hudson presents unique challenges. We're employing state-of-the-art tunnel boring machines and advanced materials to ensure both safety and efficiency. We recognize that uh, the whole gateway, and that gateway is the tunnels and the bridges and the all the approaches, uh, is critical nationally, not just to New York and New Jersey, not just to the Northeast region, but the entire United States. The Gateway Project is, without exaggeration, the most important infrastructure project in the country. Well, Chris, it's the largest infrastructure project in U.S. history, building two new tunnels connecting New Jersey and New York. The $16 billion Gateway Tunnel Project received a $6.8 billion full funding grant from the federal government to make it happen. The project will provide two new tunnels under the Hudson while improving the existing aging tunnels. The federal government recognizes its importance and is contributing $12 billion in funding of this $16 billion project. The remaining $4 billion is being split between New Jersey and New York. The light at the end of the Gateway Tunnel is signed, sealed, 
and delivered. This is a great American project. This region of New York and New Jersey is the most economically productive region in all of America and one of the most economically productive regions in all of the world. Integral to the construction and maintenance of these tunnels are the dedicated men and women of various labor unions. From the skilled tunnel workers who brave the depths of the Hudson to the electricians and engineers ensuring safety and efficiency, union labor plays a crucial role in every phase of the project. This isn't just about money for rail. This is about jobs and economic opportunity It's for a region. It has a double effect. It has an effect, first and foremost, all the construction jobs, all the good paying middle class jobs that will go into a massive project like this. But by opening up these arteries and increasing the flow of economic activity in our region, it'll create other jobs, business opportunities, so many things. The port area that we're standing in right now is an example of that. By us, by our grandparents, investing in this area, building out this port infrastructure. Here we are today talking about thousands of jobs coming to our region, being built upon infrastructure that already exists. What if we expand that infrastructure, increase those, uh, those logistic capabilities? It just creates more jobs, more opportunity. And that's what it's about for families in Bayonne, for families uh, uh, in, in Essex County, Hudson County, Union County, Bergen County, all Northern New Jersey and beyond. This is an opportunity to create incredible opportunities for economic growth economic prosperity. That's what we should all be fighting for. As the Gateway Project progresses, collaboration between labor unions, government agencies, and private contractors will be essential. Together, they strive to overcome obstacles, uphold safety standards, and deliver a transportation network that meets the needs of future generations. It's the gateway to the gateway, right? right? This section of work will take two years. It's a once-in-a-generational project, and we're all here. We all love it, and it's a uh, can't wait to get it done. It is the most urgent infrastructure project in the country. It is a critical fracture point for the entire nation's economy. As the sun sets over the Hudson, one thing remains clear. The story of the Hudson Rail Tunnels is one of resilience, innovation, and the collaborative efforts of those who build and maintain our infrastructure. With the Gateway Project on the horizon, the future of Trans-Hudson transportation looks brighter than ever before.